praise the Lord. Now see the challenge. The reason we have a, the, a very high rate of divorce amongst God's people, Christians, in marriage is because they didn't understand God's concept of marriage and how to model and pattern and what to model and pattern their marriages after. When you understand it and understand how to run this marriage, you will have less problems. Now, let me say this at this point. Marriage is neither good nor bad. Marriage as an institution or marriage as a union is neither good nor bad. If you have a good marriage, the two individuals that are married may be good. If you have a bad marriage, the two individuals in the marriage may be bad. Because what you bring into the marriage determines what you take out of marriage. If you bring good into the marriage, there will be good in the marriage. But if you don't bring it, there will be bad. So sometimes some young ladies, some young guys or some young ladies, he said, I'm looking for a guy that is going to love me. I just need for someone that has so much love for me and the rest of this. So that, uh, you, you know, these things will just stop. And I'm looking for a guy that will take care of me. You are not yet ready for marriage. Mm -mm, you are not yet ready. You don't go into marriage looking for love. You go into marriage carrying love. You carry love into marriage. You don't come there looking for it. If you come into marriage looking for love, then the marriage relationship is going to be parasitic. It's going to be one-sided. Somebody will just be given and the time comes the person breaks. So you now need to understand that it's mutual love. The woman brings love into the marriage. The man brings love into the marriage. So there is an exchange. So there is an exchange of love from the man to the woman and from the woman to the man. So you have to understand this. So that if you are going into it, look for something to bring on the table. Don't go into marriage dry. Don't go into marriage empty and you brought nothing. Because if you bring nothing into the place, you will take nothing out of it. It's like a farm ground that you have cultivated. You need to plant something for something to grow. That is what marriage is like. It's like a garden. So you are bringing something into it. So young lady, wake up and stop this mindset of I am looking for the right man. And the man is looking, I am looking for the right woman because there are some things you are looking for. And I want to say this because I'm in the neighborhood. You need to understand you will never marry a perfect woman. There's no perfect woman anywhere. Neither is there any perfect man anywhere. So there's no perfect man, there's no perfect woman. So God gives you an imperfect wo woman for you to perfect her. Yes. That is it. Because the man is meant to be a gardener, a nurturer, so that you nurture something out of the woman. Yes, that is the idea. Because there are two kinds of men out there. There are nurturers and there are hunters. Never marry a hunter. <laughs> Praise the Lord. But there are men who are given to nurturing women. You, you just met a woman and they said the woman is ugly and she was nothing until she comes into the hands of a nurturer and give the woman six months one year and the woman turns around and when you look at her you say, wow, this, is, this woman is beautiful. No, 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 no. There's no ugly woman anywhere. It's just because you have not come into the hands of a nurturer. Someone that knows what to do to bring the beauty that is hidden on the inside of you. You can see my model yes yes so that is it so you find out that you have to be a man that nurtures a woman because there's beauty in every woman uh, oh yes 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 every woman is beautiful no woman is ugly anywhere if you're eyeing another woman the problem is that you have not taken care of your own go back home and that tells you something anything you find in a woman out there bring it home to your woman So you have to understand this. So young man, right now, we are not yet married. You need to begin to develop the capacity. 
capacity to nurture. Develop that capacity right now. Because the challenge is that if you lack it, you lack it. And you can't develop it in marriage. You have to develop it now before you get married. But that also applies to a woman because women are incubators. That is why they carry a womb. Whatever you give to them, they bring it back, good measure, pressed down, shaking together, running over. That is the nature of the woman. So you also need to understand women are also nurturers because sometimes you give a woman a man that does not have But at the end of the day, the favor on the woman and the nurturing capacity of the woman, when it's released on the man, the man turns around to become a wonder to his world. Because of the same woman, that is why these capacities must be developed before you get married. That is what it is. So you just have to understand this. So because I'm in the neighborhood, I will explain this also. That marriage is work. Marriage is work. If your marriage is not working, you have not worked it. You need to work it. You need to work it. If there's constant fight and quarrels in the home, you have not done the work. If you have just constant challenges in the home, you have not done the work. You need to work it. Because your marriage will only work when you work it. And don't outsource the working of your marriage. 